Hi, this is Darren from Treasure Life Family Farms. And today we are going to try to make a little something out of something that might be nothing. I don't know if I can explain that, but here goes. So we got this uh, razor and lower mechanism we built a while back, five years ago, maybe four years ago, for one of the chicken tractors. It had a ready rod axle through it. This rim that used to have this tire on it. And I don't know how to get that back over this rim. I still might try that at some point. But the axle hole on this, I believe, is 3 8 maybe. I don't know. It's this ready rod here. The new wheel is much thicker. Uh, half inch, I believe. So, whoops. So what I'm going to try to do, uh, one, one idea would be to just drill a bigger hole here, but I don't have enough material on, whoops, on, uh, on this angle iron to get that. If I drill a bigger hole, I'm going to end up uh, with no metal there. So, uh, first attempt to salvage this without remaking these angle irons is going to be to build a new axle out of this and the ready rod and so all I'm going to do is this chunk of bolt I just cut with the chop saw is the right size let me stand this wheel up is the right size for here so that little stub will go in there and I'm going to weld the ready rod axle on both sides so that we can put it back in there the big question is, am I a good enough welder to weld ready rod on the end of here on both sides and have that be strong enough to carry the load without just busting apart? And I don't know what the answer to that's going to be. So I'm going to give it a try. And then if it doesn't work, I'll do exactly that. I'll just replace these angle irons <clears throat> with some that are longer enough that I can uh, drill the bigger holes in it and drill bigger holes in here and put a bigger axle through the whole thing and it'll it'll work then for sure but first attempt is going to be what I said I'm going to try that little stub with some ready rod basically extensions on it weld it up and try and put it back together and see if that'll hold for a while or hold forever hopefully so let me get to welding I'll show you how it turns out All right, <clears throat> I got my axle welded up. The uh, method of my madness on this was I figured out uh, the total width of my brackets here, and about seven inches is what I need. And the width of this wheel, where the bracket, where the axle goes in, is two. So that left me five inches divided by two, two and a half inches of ready rod on each side. And I already can't get it in here like that. So the solution is probably going to require me to grind off the welds here on one side at least. And get it all together and then start welding things back together. I'm probably, uh, yeah, I'll do that. It'll probably be uh, in the morning when I get to that one. So, we're good for the night. All right, so I got that axle in there. I think I was showing you in the last segment that uh, uh, without taking this apart, then you grind this weld out and then freeing this all up, that that axle wasn't gonna slide in there at an angle. And so that all worked well. I just ground that um, weld, took this side piece off, and uh, everything was able to go in there just perfectly. So then I welded that back together after I got the wheel in there. Uh, needed some spacers. This big nut covers where the welding is on that uh, on that hub, so that oops, it's gonna fall over. So that uh, I can uh, so so the wheel stays centered basically on this thing. This is one of the old designs, kind of the first ones we built. So we've much improved the design since this. 
and uh, they work much better and uh, just not ready to junk this thing and start over so so we got a new wheel in place uh, we used to use tech screws and a really small uh, screw here to attach these to the chicken tractors this is our first try or first time we're gonna go back with a uh, inch and a half lag bolt into that uh, that's uh, like a 3 8 diameter inch and a half lag bolt so those will stand permanently the tech screws sort of kind of worked more than uh, they probably should have but uh, in the future we'll drill them all out and get a bigger hole get the lag bolts put it back together that way and the last thing I did was I welded these nuts one of those was uh, had fallen off and uh, there's not enough room for double nutting it so those are it's got a little tack weld on it now so that will stay together so we're gonna go mount this back on there and uh, we'll show you how it works and action hey guys so we're gonna lift this wheel up so here we go yeah all right that's our um, wheel Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.